right um, in this video we're going to talk about modulation in the previous video we talked about channels of communication and their respective advantages and disadvantages so today we're going to start off with uh, talking about am and fm am as you know that's amplitude modulation and fm is uh, frequency modulation now we want to talk about this effect of modulation Modulation itself is the process of adding information to a carrier wave by which some property of the carrier wave is modified by the information, e.g. its amplitude, frequency, or phase. In amplitude modulation, that is AM, the carrier wave has a constant frequency, but the, frequ but the amplitude of the carrier wave varies in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal. The rate at which the amplitude of the carrier wave varies equals the frequency of the information signal. So here we are saying that we are going to be changing the amplitude of uh, the, the wave, right? The amplitude of the carrier wave is the one that is going to be in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal. So the rate at which the amplitude of this carrier wave varies is going to give us the frequency of the information signal. For example, suppose the frequency of the carrier wave is about 1 MHz. The time period is 1 microsecond, right? Because you're going to say 1 over F, right? We know that uh, frequency is 1 over uh, T, so T is 1 over F. Therefore, the frequency is going to give you the 1 MHz like that. If the frequency of the information signal is 1 kHz, the time period is going to be 1 over T, which is going to be uh, 1 kHz. Then the amplitude modulated wave has a frequency of 1 megahertz with a time period of 1 microsecond like that of the first graph but the amplitude varies like that of the second graph with a frequency of 1 kilohertz uh, and time period of 1 uh, millisecond. Right, so if we find the, um, the, the period of this wave here we're going to, uh, to find that it's going to be this 1 megahertz that we're talking about. Okay. And then the frequency of this wave here is going to give us this uh, uh, 1 millisecond that we're talking about here. Okay. Sorry, the, the 1 kilohertz. The 1 kilohertz is the frequency of this one. 1 megahertz is the frequency of this one. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So, which means our amplitude is going to vary in synchrony with this information signal. So, we have this frequency of the uh, carrier wave, right? And then it's going to vary in synchrony with the information signal. So, where there are ups, then you're going to have ups there. When there are lows here, we go highs and lows. If you're highs, you're going to get that. Lows, you're going to get uh, that here. And then that's what you're going to get. But then the frequency remains unchanged. So as you can see, the frequency was this one. So it does not change. It remains like that. But what is changing there is the amplitude. We are varying the amp amplitude so that it becomes in synchrony with the displacement of this, um, uh, of this information signal. So that's all about AM. In frequency modulation that is fm the amplitude of the carrier wave remains constant the frequency of the carrier wave is the one that varies in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal the change in the frequency of the carrier wave is a measure of the displacement of the information signal now so it's like, sort of like the opposite of what we had in um, uh, am so in this case as you can see the amplitude is remaining constant it is not changing right so what is changing there is the displacement uh, so the the frequency the frequency is changing so we've got low f uh, uh, high frequency there low frequency there high frequency low frequency so that is now varying the frequency is varying with the displacement of the information signal. So as the information signal is moving from left to right, you can see that the frequency is changing. So it will be increasing and decreasing, increasing and decreasing. Okay, so that is uh, uh, the frequency modulation.
so the frequency varies in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal now let's look at an example of uh, fm A sinusoidal wa uh, carrier wave has a frequency of 800 kilohertz and an amplitude of 5 hertz. The frequency deviation of the carrier wave is 30 kilohertz per volt. Uh, that is for every 10 volt change uh, in displacement of the signal, the frequency of the carrier wave changes by 30 kilohertz. Right, so that's 30 kilohertz per volt. Right, so it has to be a one volt change here, not that, not that. So for every one volt change of the displacement of the signal, uh, uh, the frequency of the carrier wave changes by 30 kilohertz. Right, so 30 kilohertz per volt. The carrier wave is frequency modulated by a sinusoidal signal of frequency 10 kilohertz and amplitude 2 volts. Describe the modulated carrier wave. Right. So the amplitude of the information signal is equal to 2 volts. That is the 2 volts that we're seeing here. That's the carrier wave that we're going to have. And giving a variation of 2 times 30, which is going to give us uh, 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 60 hertz. Okay. So it's going to vary in synchrony with the frequency. Uh, of. Uh, so the frequency varies with the displacement of this uh, wave. So it's going to be 2 times the 30 which going to which is going to give you the 60 kilohertz remember the the volts are in the uh, uh, displacement okay they are in the displacement that's so we're going to vote and then the frequency will be in the horizontal axis so which means as it varies in synchrony with the displacement of the information so this the displacement is being represented by these two volts so the frequency is going to be changing according to the displacement so it's going to give you that 30 kilohertz times 2 which is 60 kilohertz the carrier wave is a constant amplitude of 5 uh, volts so which means it is not amplitude modulated it is frequency modulated and the frequency changes from 740 to 860 kilohertz and uh, back again to 740 the change of frequency occurs one ten thousand 10,000 uh, uh, times per second okay so that's what it means. So uh, we have this 800 uh, hertz. So we're going to go uh, through a deviation of 60 kilohertz to the right, 60 kilohertz to the left. So that's going to be our modulation, of the frequency modulation there. So the amplitude, remember we said the amplitude uh, is going to, so the, di the displacement changes by that uh, way we, 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 we multiply the frequency of the uh, of deviation of the carrier wave 30 times 260. So you subtract the 60 from 800 and add the 60 to 800 give you 860. So that's how we're going to get. So if you are to look at this graph here, the frequency modulation. So we're going to have the frequency increasing by 60 as you can see there and then decreasing by 60 then increasing by 60 decreasing so that's how uh, the fre frequency modulation is going to take place there let's look at the second one again on uh, frequency modulation the f a 500 kilohertz uh, sinusoidal carrier of uh, Amplitude 10 volts is amps frequency modulated by 2 kilohertz sinusoidal information signal of amplitude 2 volts. The frequency of uh, deviation of the carrier wave is 20 kilohertz per volt. Describe how the resulting uh, FM signal changes with time. If the information signal amplitude becomes 3 volts, describe how the resulting FM signal will change. Now again, we first of all need to find our limits that is uh, so we need to multiply the 2 by the 20 right so that is the frequency of the carrier wave by the displacement of uh, the, the information signal so it's going to give you um, uh, 40 this time 40 kilohertz so the frequency deviation represents the displacement of the information signal so 20 times the 2 kilohertz of the frequency uh, that's going to be of our uh, information signal it's going to be sorry but volts right so it will be 2 times 20 which is going to give you 
uh, 40 kilohertz, right? But this is 20 kilohertz per volt times the volts, giving you 40 kilohertz. Then the resulting FM carrier changes from a frequency of, since we, we have a frequency given there is 500 kilohertz, so it's going to change by 5 to 540 and then also to 460. So we subtract and add the same amount that we found there. So that's going to be our frequency deviation like I showed you on the graph in the first example. <clears throat> now, uh, the resulting FM uh, changes, carrier wave changes in a frequency of that to that, back to that. The change in the frequency occurs 2,000 times per second, which is this uh, frequency of the modulation. So the frequency of modulation is 2 kilohertz, so it's going to be 2,000 times per second. And the amplitude remains at 10 volts because this is frequency modulation. If the information signal becomes 3 volts, then we're going to multiply by 3 volts. So it's going to be 20 times the 3 volts is going to give you 60 kilohertz. Now we're going to subtract again the 60 from the 500 and add the 60 to the 500 so we're going to get 540 and 660 okay sorry 440 and 660 440 and 560 sorry about that and back again to 440 again this is going to be 2000 times per second because that is our frequency of modulation and the amplitude remains at 10 volts because we are not uh, uh, modulating the amplitude. Now let's talk about uh, bandwidth. <coughs> bandwidth is the range of frequencies occupied by a signal. For the AM waveform, the bandwidth is equal to 2 times the uh, FA. Okay. When the AM waveform is analyzed, it is seen to be composed of the sum of three waves the separate uh, frequencies the central uh, uh, frequency fc is the carrier frequency and two side frequencies fc minus fa and fc plus fa known as sideband frequencies where fa is the frequency of the information signal the carrier amplitude is greater than the information amplitude so we're going to have it like that and then you're going to have two sideband frequencies like that okay so knowing the frequency of the information signal if you add it to the to the, the carrier wave you're going to get a side frequency there and a side frequency there. and the bandwidth now is going to be equal to the difference between the this frequency and that frequency so that's going to be two times fa right so for example you have that so we've got one carrier frequency there that's at one megahertz and then we've got uh, 1.005 for the uh, so suppose the 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 information signal is a frequency of uh, uh, what do you call that 0 0.005 uh, megahertz so it's going to be uh, 1 plus 0 0.005 which gives you 1.005 and then you subtract 0 0.005 there to give you 0 0.995 so the frequency is going to be from there to there which is uh, uh, twice the frequency of the information signal so it's going to be uh, 10 kilohertz When the carrier wave is um, modulated by a range of frequencies, the result is a band of frequencies called the lower and upper side bands. The frequency spectrum of FM a waveform has a large number of side bands. Right? So we have uh, side bands where we have got so many frequencies. Right? We don't have a single value of frequencies this side, but we have so many. So that's a band. And that's a band again. So we take to the real minimum of the band and then the upper one. And then you subtract, you get the bandwidth. Now let's look at an example on FAM this time. AM. A carrier of frequency 800 kilohertz is amplitude modulated by a wave of frequency 5 kilohertz 
sketch a frequency spectrum graph of the am wave and find the bandwidth so this is an example of uh, am so we have uh, what you are, are we are we changing this time we are changing the amplitude the frequency remains the same so the frequency um, of the information signal remember the amplitude of the information signal represents the displacement in this case but what we are changing we are changing the amplitude this time now the question is requiring us to find the frequency spectrum so do not get confused that the frequency is changing no this is just a frequency spectrum of uh, the the amplitude a uh, modulated wave that has been uh, generated there and then we find the frequency uh, by that so it's going to be 800 and then we subtract and add 5 kilohertz both sides because we are modulating by a wave of frequency 5 kilohertz so we're going to get, end up with that and that so you get side bands both sides so the bandwidth is going to be this uh, this from that which is going to be uh, 10 kilohertz right um uh, relative advantages of uh, AM and FM. Now, in FM, there's quality reception of uh, the quality of reception is better than the AM. There's less electrical interference and noise. Remember, we define noise that the term is that random unwanted uh, uh, signal that adds onto the information signal. So AM signals pick up interfering radiation and uh, noise which affect the amplitude of the carrier. But in uh, it, uh, then AM can cover a larger area than FM. So the advantage of AM is that it can go for a long uh, distance since the frequency, the bandwidth is very low. So it has to be compensated by the wavelength. Remember, the wave equation f is got um, f v is got f lambda. If you have got a high frequency, the amplitude. Um, so if you have got uh, high frequency, the wavelength falls. So we, it's, if uh, the frequency is small, that is in AM, we have got a larger uh, distance that it is uh, to travel. So AM uses the longer wavelengths than FM so it can diffract around the earth so, but fm is by line of sight then fm is greater bandwidth and produces a better quality of sound and uh, the bandwidth the am the bandwidth needed for each am transmission is less than for a fm transmission so you've got we can have more am stations that is you can uh, listen to a radio program that's taking place in egypt or in uh, all around the world you can do so but the quality now will be very poor whereas in fm you need to have so many stations even in one uh, one city you alone you need to have suppose the 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 quality is high but then the distance is very small so we need to have so many of these uh, stations am receivers and transmitters are less complicated and it is cheaper than for fm Right, I think I need to end the video here and then I, I want to continue with AM. I want to give you an example of AM where it is, um, it is then we can uh, go again to look at uh, digital communication. So I'll combine uh, the video on uh, digital communication together with uh, this AM. As I gave an example of uh, the, 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 the waves, um, this one here this one here i want to give uh okay yes i think i've done so already so there's no need for me to do it this this is the example but i thought i would give an example a, a concrete example of uh, am as it uh, varies okay J just like this one so i'm signing out